trends of m2 plus and m and m3 plus and 2 plus m is nothing but metal of 2 plus with a metal and metal of 3 plus and metal 2 plus ion electrochemical series standard electro i mean reduction potential of uh, fluorine gold silver mercury copper how plus val values and hydrogen has zero zero voltage and ion 3 plus pb 2 plus zinc aluminium magnesium potassium lithium will have a minus values so higher up series hydrogen based on higher hydrogen these are higher up series these are lower down series so these are higher up series are strong oxidizing agent and lower down series are a strong reducing agent. My negative values are reducing agent, positive values are a oxidizing agent. So they are called higher up series elements and lower down series elements. Higher up series elements are strong oxidizing agent and lower down series elements are a strong reducing agents. So let us see the electrochemical series of the lyrics. Huh? So please by heart the sentences. You will be very thorough of the active metals and uh, non-active metals or uh, very less active metals and medium active metals we can study. Uh, lithium, lini, potassium, cabin, cesium comes from ba barium, Bangalore and uh, calcium, Canada. Lini and cabin comes from Bangalore and goes to Canada. Lithium, potassium, cesium, barium, calcium order. The most highest order is lithium. Very active metal is lithium. Then next term. Sodium Na, that is called navine and Ce. Cerium, it is saline and Mg, magnesium, mango, aluminium, alban libi and um, manganese, mint chocolate. So navine and saline likes mango bites, alban libi and uh, mint chocolate. And next thing is zinc, chromium, iron, cadmium, gopalch. So zinc, xena, chromium, christine, iron feels to eat, cadmium, cadbury with the more cocoa. So xena and christine feels to eat, cadbury with the more cocoa and nickel ni need to tin sneezed lead public fe free place need to sneezed in public free place nickel tin lead ion so next thing is very very least active metals are copper collier mercury agnes i2 iodine MnO4 manganate, manganate ion and um, silver, Ag, Au gold, H2O2 hydrogen peroxide and uh, fluorine. So curly air, Agnes and I2 met her morning in the huge hall. Then I saw Augustine standing in height order first. In electrochemical series, hydrogen standard reduction potential is 0, 0.00 voltage. Based on H values, E0 below the H metal scanner displays the higher up metals, but above H metals cannot displace the lower down metals. So higher up metals are called a strong oxidizing agent. Lower down the metals are called as a strong reducing agent based on hydrogen. So that are uh, electrode potential value e naught value m2 plus and m couple maximum negative value are called negative reduction potential they are called as a strong reducing agent and uh, e naught value maximum positive value are called as a positive reduction potential they are called as a strong oxidizing agent so almost whether the negative or a positive they are used to call generally we used to call the reduction potential standard reduction potential so SRP is called standard reduction potential. SOA is a strong oxidizing agent. SRA is a strong reducing agent. So metal with the above H will called as a, I mean higher up series, they are all strong oxidizing agent. Cannot displace the lower down metal, not release the hydrogen in the acid. And um, below, I, I mean lower down the series of uh, H, which displaces the higher up metal and releases the hydrogen in an acid. 
these are the very tricky point you noted so most of the transition metals have positive e naught value do not liberate hydrogen gas in acids the metals below h have the negative e naught value will liberate the hydrogen gas in acid for example e naught value for copper plus 0.34 voltage so with the sulfuric acid there is no reaction at all so for a whereas zinc with the minus 0.76 voltage with sulfuric acid easily liberated the h2 is again is 44 plus of hydrogen so this is a lower down metal of hydrogen so easily display i mean liberate hydrogen gas from acids it is a higher up metal so it cannot liberate hydrogen gas from the acids thanks for watching students